Right, in this video, short one, I'm just going to talk about some I found out about music blocks and what might be causing them to be, you know, difficult to jump off on in certain levels. So, really simple. Here you have three music blocks on their own, nothing behind them, in midair, and these are really easy to time it. I haven't even messed up once yet. So you know, the window of getting it right is pretty large on them. Now here, the difference is I've got a mushroom platform behind it. And here it's a lot more hit and miss. It is possible, like as you can see. But as you can also see, uh, it's like 50-50 really. And now I've oh, go, got another one and another. It's, it's a lot more harder to do than this one over here. Like that, I'm getting them every time really. And then over here it's like really iffy. And the problem with that is if you say there's like a gap around here to, and then another mushroom platform over here where you could die, that's where it becomes a problem. So what I reckon is going on here is um, because there's another ground behind the music block, I'm getting the impression if you don't do it correctly, like you know really accurately, you end up hitting the, the ground behind it and it somehow interferes with the jump. I mean, it's the only thing I can think of. But it's definitely a difference. You know, you go into you, know, you you go into an editor and try it, and you'll you understand you'll see it, you'll notice it straight away. And I sort of come across this when I'm making a, a level sort of based on music blocks, and I got to about this point, and what I did here, you can see there's nothing behind it, but originally I had this up here, and I I was like trying to you know, make it so I can go up there, and I. Fucking hell, I can't even do it now. <laughs> One minute. Right, so yeah. Oh, for God's sake. What was I saying a minute ago? That would be an easier like that. I don't know why I'm... I'm I think it's just, this is me, really, just messing it up. I've never been good at music blocks, but as you can see, that's a lot easier. Now, if, for example, like I had it before, it was like that. It was almost impossible to get up there without falling down. Which is why I've got this ground down here. That's why I have... I actually added this ground, but the problem with it was even with the ground there, and you can retry it, it was still annoying because you have to continually try, and it, it wasn't your fault. So, I just wanted to say that, yeah, I mean, it's not just these, it's also also the same with these. Look, anything that goes behind them, so I think it's them, and it's also the one way platforms, I think, if I remember correctly. So, if you've got like your one way platform. Like that. Same thing, I think. Let's just test it. Make sure. Yeah, I've already noticed it. Can't. Yeah. I'm going to get one. There we go. So, yeah, it's the same thing. Move here. Yeah. It's a little. Yeah, it's still there. 50 50. Um, so, bear that in mind when you're making music. Levels of music blocks will involve jumping off them. Make sure there's nothing behind them. And you can cover it up, look. I mean, I've done it here. Like here, there's one. You know, I've covered it up, so it's like a tree, but you'll see it's there instead of up there. And I know I've got these down here, but there's a reason for that. I've, um, I've used these coloured ones as broken ones, and these as working ones. So, as you can see, anything in these jumping off, I've used the, the white ones. And there's no difference between if it's one of these or these. It's the same result. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share that. And that's it. So, um, yeah. Um, nope, that is it. I've pretty much got everything. So, um, I'll see you next time.